Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? What's up, what's up? It's your boy, Jonah, y'all. And I'm back, y'all, with another video. And also another serious message and another eye-open videos. And I'm going to talk about y'all need to stop running from the God's presence. You need to stop running for the presence of God, okay? I don't care who you are listening to my videos. I really don't care whoever listens to my videos. I don't care what state you're from. I don't care about your skin color. I don't care how old you is, young and teenager. It goes with everybody, man. Y'all need to stop running for the presence of, of God, okay? A lot of y'all doing it, okay? Now, let me just... Let me just say something, what y'all be doing, okay? You're running for the presence of God, okay? You're talking about you're going to church. It does not mean nothing, okay? You listen to the pastor. It does not mean nothing. You read the Bible. It does not mean nothing. You preach the word of God. It don't mean nothing. You fast and pray. It does not mean nothing. You saving souls, it does not mean nothing because you still run away from the presence of God. But that's not good, man. That's not good. And you need to tell me you call yourself you're walking with God and you still running for the presence of God. Man, you better check your soul, man. You better check your soul because if you don't check your soul, your soul going to be end up in hell burning with Satan. That's right, man. It's just the truth. I'm telling you the truth. It is the truth and nothing but the truth, okay? Stop being silly and just be honest here, okay? That was in, in the Bible, okay? That was in the book of Jonah, chapter 1, verse 3. Y'all can read for yourself, okay? Because Jonah doing it, he running for the presence of God. He not running from God, but he just running for the presence of God, okay? Because let me tell you something. Preachers, you never know preachers doing the same thing because he didn't give y'all no truth. He didn't give y'all no truth. Pastor, the, the pastor, he not, he not, you know, let me tell you something. He running for the presence of God too, just like Jonah in the Bible. A lot of, a lot of Christians do the same thing. They're, they're running for the presence of God. That's not right, y'all. Y'all need to check your soul, man. And we'll see what and, and, and see what God has to say about you. Because a lot of y'all do all the running for years. Y'all y'all do some of the running for years. A lot of y'all do just do your own thing. Do your own thing. That's right, man. It's not right, man. Y'all got to stop, man. Stop doing that. To God like that. Now God pick you. You got to accept that. Stop it man. Y'all got to stop. Because you are hurting yourself. You are destroying yourself. If the God pick you. And, and God trying to change your life. You better not run. Stop running for the presence of God. Stop it. Okay. Some of y'all questions said, well, well, Jonah, can you explain that to me about the presence of God? I'm so glad you asked. Okay. I'm so glad you asked because they got a lot of people don't even know the presence of God is up, uh, all about. Okay. Some, some of the people don't even know that means. Okay. The presence of God, you know what I'm saying? Listen to me. Listen to me very carefully. Okay. The presence of God, you know, like they own you. Okay. They own you. They they talk to you, okay? The presence of God, man, you know, they talk to you. They want you to change your ways, okay? That's the presence of God for you, okay? He wants you to change. He wants you to give your full life to him. He wants you to change your attitude. He, he wants you to take out your wig, okay? He wants you to start live with your cursed family members, okay? That's right, man. That's the presence of God. And look what happened. Look what happened, y'all. Listen to me very carefully. Watch this, man. Some of y'all didn't. Y'all don't want to listen. 
Some of y'all don't want to listen. You want to keep doing you. Okay? That means you're running for the presence of God. Now, here's another one. Here's another one. Some of y'all ladies... Some of y'all ladies out there, you know, live with your boyfriend, whatever. He ain't no good for you, okay? God picked you, and he told you you need to cut off the cursed relationship. Leave the relationship alone because the relationship is really destroying your life. Some of y'all don't want to do it. I'm talking to you ladies, okay? Let me let me repeat that one more time because a lot of y'all not hear me. Y'all think I'm crazy. Let me make this look very clearly, okay? I'm talking about the presence of, of God you run away for, okay? The God told you to cut all this cursed relationship with man's. You don't want to do it. You still live with that person. That means you live that means that means you live in a a, a, a a miserable life, okay? And also you are running for the presence of God. And God told you to leave. You don't want to leave. Okay? Y'all ladies know what I'm y'all y'all ladies know what I'm talking about. If you don't want to if if you don't want to do it what God calls you to do, that means you are running. You don't want to do you. You want to stay with that cursed man. Same thing for you, brother. You want to stay with a cursed woman because 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 your woman got a nice sex. And also this person don't even love you for you. She only love you. She love you for money. So who makes you want to be with that person? God told you to cut all the relationship, to, to, to leave the relationship alone, to be free for your life. But no, you want to stay with a cursed female. This cursed female you with did not love you for you. Ladies, you do the same thing. The, the man out there, the tall, hairy, dick man, he don't even love you for you. He just wants your body, abuse you, do something evil to you, man. And look what happened. You don't want to leave your cursed relationship. You, you running, you're running for the presence of God, ladies. And you too, brother. Now, here's another one. Here's another one. This is the presence of God, okay? God told you. And stop living with your cursed family members because your cursed family members is a joke. Your cursed family members don't even care about God's will. Your cursed family members, they're always gossiping. Your cursed family members, they be smoking cigarettes all the time. Your cursed family members, they be addicted to drugs. Your cursed family members, they addicted to the alcohol. Your cursed family members, they addicted to porns. Your cursed family members, to love to be messy, being prideful. To be a hypocrite, to be a lustful. God told you to live out this cursed family, but y'all don't want to do it. You know why? What is it, Jonah? Because you are running for the presence of God, just like Jonah in the Bible. If you don't believe me, go to the book of Jonah, chapter 1, verse 3, and y'all can read for yourself, okay? Because this is the problem with y'all people out there, y'all running for the presence of God. Now, God trying to change you and work through things in your life, you're running, for, you're running, man. You're running. You're running, man. And let me tell you something. You can run all you want to. And guess what? You want to end up in dead end. Okay, and also you'll be, you'll be cursed of the curse of the curse. And guess what? You don't have no peace of mind at all because you allow Satan to be in your life. And also you have been programmed by Satan because Satan knows you're running for the presence of God. I'd not say you're running from God. You're running for the presence of God, just like Jonah in the Bible. Can't you, can't you see what I'm saying, y'all? See, it's so sad. Preachers never talk about this, man. Nobody want to talk about this. You know why? Because they don't know how to be honest with their lives, man. You see, God told you guys to cut all your faith friends. Cut all your faith family members. Cut all your cut all these fake jobs, man, that treat you like that. Schools and all that, man. But you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. You're running away for God. And God trying to tell you something about yourself. You don't want to hear it. That means you're running. You're running for the presence of God. But that's not right, man. And some of y'all, you want to call yourself your Christian. You call yourself an Israelite. Really? Are you serious? 
Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you are to seriously will walk with God, why are you running for the presence of God? That's right, man. That's right, y'all. And I'm just keeping real with y'all. This is the first time doing this kind of stuff because I know, I, I know what I'm talking about right now. I know what I'm talking about. You know, y'all people on Facebook, you got to start running for the presence of God. You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to all of y'all, man. Y'all got to start running for the presence of God. You too. I know a lot of y'all people going you too so much. You got to start running for the presence of God. If you keep on running for the presence of God, you became a curse of the curse of the curse. And God will be angry with you. That's right. God wants you. God want to work things in your life. Okay. He loves you, man. He wants you to change your attitude. He wants you to be the new person. He wants you to have a deeper one relationship with him. He wants you to follow him to those to the end. He wants you to do his will in your life. He wants you to baptize in Walter. He want to feel in your Holy Spirit. He wants you to walk in the Spirit. Okay? Nobody can help you. Your mama cannot help you. Your daddy cannot help you. Even your sister, your brother, your auntie, even your fiance can help you. Only God can help you. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to take the presence of God, also do it right now. Do it now. And start running for it, man. If you're running for it, you're running hurting yourself. Stop it, man. You got to stop running for the presence of God. Jonah, Jonah, you ain't, Jonah, he, he doing it. That's his problem. That's his problem with Jonah. He running for the presence of God. That God told him to do this and do that and do what he calls you to do and, and calls him to do. He, he didn't do it, y'all. He didn't do it. God told Jonah to change. God told you, you you need to stop doing your own do. You do your own thing. He don't want to do it. God just telling him. God just judging Jonah. And guess what? Jonah running for the presence of God. He wasn't running for God. He running for the presence of God. That's what he that's what he is. He running for God. And look what happened. He swallowed by the fish. Now he 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 talking now he talking to God, Lord, please forgive me. Now he learned his lesson. Now he obeyed God now. You see that? You see that? See, this is the, this is the problem. Preachers never talk about this. If the truth is already exposed, most of the people are do the same thing as Jonah in the Bible. Running for the presence of God, man. Y'all need to stop, man. Y'all need to stop and look at your souls, man. Look at your souls, man. If you don't look at your souls, man, you have no idea you want to end up hell with the demons and the falling angels because they got you on a lease. Is there any way to escape out of hell? You got to be honest with God, okay? If you already did, that means the Most High got your names and the last in the book of life. That means you on the list. You have been programmed by God because you're not have been programmed by Satan anymore because it's, it's erased in hell. Well, know why? Because you open your life to Christ, okay? And also, you got to follow God's presence. If God told you not to do this, not to do that, you better do it as he says. And, and God told you to break out and if God told you to leave out this cursed relationship, you better do it now. If God told you not to be with that person it's not really right for you. Don't be with that person. If God told you to do his will in your life, then do it. Then do it. Your family members, that God told you not to live with this cursed family member, then, then do it. Then do it. That's right. That's right, man. That's right. You know, I already told my girl, you know, you know, about, about, you know, what's happening, you know, in her life, you know, I'm just helping her out, trying to help her grow with God, you know, I told her not to talk to her people, because her people wasn't 
treat her right, you know. But I wasn't even gonna push her, you know. But God trying to help my baby mama, but she running for the presence of God. She is, y'all. And she she know better. And you know what I'm saying? So she need to, you know, make her own decisions and she choose to follow God or not, you know. So and um Yep, like I say, man, like I say, you got to stop running for the presence of God. You got to stop, man. You got to stop, man. Because if you don't stop, the wrath of God's going to be on you. That's all I got to be saying, man. This is Jonah, y'all. And I'm just, go ahead, just tell y'all the truth. And you got to stop running for the presence of God. Don't be like Jonah in the Bible, y'all. And that's all I got to be saying, man. This is Jonah, y'all. I'm out, y'all. Peace.